So how many um, of the uh, horse art pieces you would be creating for the upcoming event? I think event? I want to take about 20. About 20? About, about 20. Okay. Different sizes? Different uh, sizes, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, some of them are going to be totally abstract. Some of them are not. Right. So it all depends. I mean, but about 20 pieces in different sizes. I have small ones right. and large ones that you have taken pictures of. So. Yes. Yep. So. So, Carmen, you are steadfast into art. I mean, what I'm getting from you is I don't think I see anything else coming in to disrupt your focus right now because that's exactly how I feel yeah I want to enjoy since I retired yeah I I was looking for something for a passion to do for something that was in my heart mm -hmm. and I it all started with, with a rock unbelievable unbelievable mm. how it opened everything my my mind it's such a therapeutical thing to do it relaxes me it it I'm in my zone and then it's like I, I'm so thankful that this happened to me. That's I'm beautiful. Very thankful. Very, very thankful. So you are living the life of creating you, your yeah. creative side. Yes. You are able to just get and that out. And it's pouring out. It's like at the beginning when you start painting, you're you're not sure. You think that you're going to ruin the canvas. Mm. You think, you know, you have all those doubts. And all of a sudden, those doubts go away because... What's the worst thing that can happen? Yes. <laughs> so yes. you start again, right. and yes. you start again, and then all of a sudden you have something that you really love and you really like, and and you feel good about yourself. You know, you do feel good. So what what kind of art would you say to someone who, you know, is looking at this and they're checking out your work? Um, is it acrylic stuff? It's what acrylic. Kind of I use the my medium is acrylic and. Um, abstracts that's mostly the ones that I'm doing at this moment right yeah and uh, you use canvases canvases yes. yes stretch canvases um, I, those are the ones that I use at this moment yes and what are some of your best colors you like to play around with oh right. is it all depends it all on depends the... on the mood okay it all I depends see. what I see, I see in my head I mean I carry this this little book, this little, little sketchbook. Okay, beautiful. A good friend of mine gave me this and I carried it with me. And if I'm somewhere and I see something that I like, a, a, a flower, a plant, a, an area, I write down, I kind of sketch it quickly. And oh, then okay. And ideas, you know, and then that's how I get them. Okay. Beautiful. Some days I'm a blank, nothing happens up there. Yeah. And then other days it's like, it's it doesn't flowing. stop. You know, mm. like yesterday I couldn't stop it. I have things to do here, so... This room so you have a little to stop Because <laughs> <laughs> usually there's brushes all over the place and yeah, we don't want that today. <laughs> so would you say since you've uh, got back involved um, when you started doing the rock painting classes here at JB Ranch and then that grew into you now having to mm -hmm. exhibit your work, do you have any... Um, pieces you've done that you really hold to your chest like yeah this is my best work I have a few yes I do I have three actually we're gonna try and see if we could get those do you still have them in yes, your I person do. yes I do so we're gonna get those and try to get some shots and you will see them yes, I all do. right I have three and when I sell them if I ever sell them <laughs> it's gonna be sad but I know it will go to a house and they will it will be they it's an eternal some. thing. It, it, there's, it's a medium size and then smaller ones, and I'm going to do them in a bigger size okay. later on. Okay. Yeah. It's a, it will always be there, so when I'm gone, they're still going to be here. So, My son has a few of my artwork. Okay, and this Colorado. is the one that does the tattoos. tattoos. Yes. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. Yeah, he has them in his shop. He just opened his shop last week, so I'm very proud of him. But that is interesting how he is like a connection to your oh, work. Yeah doing the tattoos, yeah. you see. I used to tell him that he was living my dream mm. by tattooing. I used to tell him that all the time. And and uh, when he started, I said, Mom, I said, just do it, honey. Mm. Just go for it. It's your dream. I didn't do it. And hopefully one day I will. And he started 
about maybe 10 years ago, eight years okay, ago. Okay, so okay. So I was a firm supporter for yes. him to continue what he wants to do. He's a young man, so yes. why not? And he's very successful, and I'm very proud of his work. So you said earlier that your aunt is the one that was the main supporter. supporter. Yes. Is she still with us? No, She's neither. Us. No, my, my parents and my aunt and my uncles, they all passed. Uh, long time ago, and Sorry to uh, hear that. yeah, I, I do miss. I wish she was around so she would guide me because she was an incredible artist. Mm -hmm. My mom painted, but my mom, my mom, didn't follow through like my aunt. My aunt okay. was doing it full time too, oh, and okay. um, she had she won many prizes, and um, oh. she was very into flower arrangements, bonsais, art. Um, they were all inclined towards those three. Things and and they really went all the way up and and they won prizes. But my aunt was just so talented. Beautiful. Do you have anything from her? Yes, any I do. Yes, I oh do. my goodness! So hey, you're gonna get a chance to see that as well. Yes, I do. Oh, and she painted beautiful. that about I don't know, maybe twenty years ago. Oh, and I wow. have it. I have a few of her work. In and my what house. is her name? Her name was Carmela. Carmela. Yeah, Carmela. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. And mom? Mom was Lucy. Okay, Lucy. And that was Paco. <laughs> okay, okay, beautiful. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and the Kirma, that's my nickname as an artist. So that's <laughs> that's what I came to learn when I started doing some of the uh, taking photos of your work here, and I noticed on the uh, the, the the art pieces. Yeah. I'm seeing K I R M A, and how do you pronounce it? Kirma. Kirma. Uh -huh. So, Kirma, when you see Kirma, you are actually looking at Carmen work, Carmen de Santiago. Yeah. So, how did Kirma tell us about that? Oh, <laughs> high school. Oh. That was my nickname in high school. And it is a Peruvian coffee. <laughs> wow. Don't, I don't know how the correlation and how it, that happened, but that's my nickname. So, how, I mean, and this how is, did it began? I mean, did, 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 was it one person in one particular? One person, I don't like, actually remember who it was, but it happened in high school, and it never, and then it, you know, I left high school many years ago, and what happened was, and this is hilarious, I met with a good friend of mine from childhood. Mm. I was with my son, my youngest son, and we went to a park in, um, somewhere in, in Dunallen, and I met my girlfriend that I hadn't seen about 30 plus years. Mm. And the first thing that comes out of her mouth was, Kirma! And gives me a hug. And of course, I know I'm, I was Kirma. So. Oh. And my son so. says, who is Kirma? I said, well, <laughs> and she explained the whole thing. So my, my son, the youngest one, Sometimes when he knows that I'm upset at him, he calls me Pet Kirma. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, so when I started painting, I said, Carmen, ah, no, Kirma, because my youngest one calls me Kirma yes. when, when he knows I'm upset at him. Isn't that beautiful? So, Kirma. Kirma, yeah. Coffee. Coffee. It's a Peruvian coffee. Wow, <laughs> look at that. So then, you never know, maybe some. Uh... Go to the last drop. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Maybe some years from now you might be opening a Kirma coffee shop. Uh, I don't know you about know? that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just an idea for us to uh, yeah, I don't know about partner that. on it, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Could be. You never know. <laughs> so then I have a coffee shop with all my art. That is what I'm and saying. And then I'll do a wine thing at night and I can get musicians to play there. Some nice oh, that blues nice? and some jazz. Some nice blues jazz, you know, some of this, uh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> this is our idea, okay? So please, stop. Thank you. <laughs> so, you have this wonderful showing coming up in November at the World Equestrian Center that you are working on right now. Yes. Anything is happening between now and then, before that, like, you know, you might be taking some art, but I know you have a, a commission thing. I have commission paintings that I have to finish and right. start actually and then finish. I have like three or four of them. Um, I joined the uh, um, Ocala Art Group. Okay, beautiful. And um, Leona Astor. Yes. The and, president. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful group. lady. Beautiful. Everybody yes. there is incredible. Ocala Art Group. Oh, I, I had my first meeting with them and 
we went to lunch and it was just such an amazing group of women and men. Yes. Very, very nice. I was yes. very happy, very proud to belong to them. Mm -hmm. And um, and I might be having a piece of my art in one of the restaurants that we're working in. Okay. Um, is They're not ready yet. I mean, they should be, hopefully in September, I believe it is. Okay. So this is going to happen before that? Yeah, before, picture. yes. And the commission pieces you are doing, I'm is doing it going to be before? Like oh, the, yes. Uh, yeah, it will okay. be within the next following weeks. Okay. It takes before. a few days, a few weeks to have a painting ready between the painting drying and doing the final touches. And of course, I come back two or three days later to look at it to see if I'm happy with it. Yes. And of course, I take pictures of it and look mm -hmm. at it and mm -hmm. study it. And then I make some changes. Right. And then you have to let it dry and varnish and make all the, put the hooks in the back and get it ready for hanging. So that's a very interesting thing. You said varnish. What type of varnish do you use? It's, um, uh, what is it called? Okay. Sure. We're going to get <laughs> the varnish on, for you. Baby. Hold on. Hold be quiet. On, just now. Okay. Satin varnish. That's what it oh, is. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Satin. Some people all like right. it uh, to be um, more shiny. It all depends. I like to use satin. It looks nice, silky. Right. So that's what I use. So you use it on all of them? On all of my paintings are sealed, if you want to call that sealing mm -hmm. the painting, yes. And then of course you said you do all of the little uh, hooks and yes, what have everything. you been. What type of uh, installment okay. do you... Let's see. <laughs> yeah, we, we, you're getting all the nice stuff here. This is like the intricacies. This is what we're talking it's about, the details. Hanging. It's ready you for see? hanging. Look at that. You see all the little hooks and stuff right there? It's ready for hanging. You see? So, all right, and and this is bought like uh, which type of hardware? Which I buy it at the um, on, on online and Amazon. I get all my hardware. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. And so then Amazon. I just as soon as I finish the painting and it's ready and I'm happy and it's varnished and I wait my few days. I just do the back part and. So the I'm, wire I'm, as well. I'm, you get it from I'm, Amazon. Yeah, I have everything from Amazon. I'm running okay. out of wall space. I'm, oh, I think we my, need... my husband has to buy me a bigger house. Yes, yeah, I, so. <laughs> Husband, did you hear that? Right. So, <laughs> so that's beautiful. I'm, I mean, it's, it's not many people could say that they could just stop working and do what they feel, what is I'm, inside I'm very of lucky. Them. I'm very yeah. blessed. That's yeah. the correct word. That's I'm very nice. blessed that I have a husband who supports me in that respect. And, um, and, you know, he makes sure that I can do it. Yeah. And uh, I'm very thankful to him. He's a good man. He's a very good guy. <laughs> so you have, you showed a house and uh, a boy and a girl that you, that is two commission pieces. Mm -hmm. How big are you going to? Um, the one of the house is going to be... Uh, like sure about uh, it, Well, let's say that it's going to be about this size. I can't tell you because she hasn't decided she, yet. Oh, okay, I see. So I she see. wants me so to have the picture. Actually, she's going to send me another picture because a little bit of the house is not being shown and I'm not happy about that. Okay. So yes. I ask her to yes. take a better picture yes. so it's a yes. whole house in the background yes. so I can see what's behind so I can start working on it. Yeah. So then she will tell me because I think this picture of that house should be in a bigger canvas, but it's her oh, decision. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's yes. her decision, and and I'm just going to do what she wants. You know? Of course. Yeah. And the uh, boy and girl, is that the same person? The, the rock? The, yeah, the boy and girl you The boy is the them? same lady as the, the rock. As she the wants rock. it on a rock. Okay, she, she wants, wants it on a rock. rock. Yeah. Okay. And that okay. she wants it by Christmas. Of course, it's going to be done way before that. Right. So right. it's ready for her whenever she wants to pick them up. Beautiful. Plus the other houses that I have. And, and I have a horse that a lady wanted me to paint and that is is already gone to her so it's, that's ready and, and she picked it up and mm. she's happy okay. so yes I'm busy I'm busy yes, well that's nice so is it that in the JB Ranch that activity that rock painting activity is it still happening it is currently? Uh, and not at this moment it's coming back in October many people um, go on vacation on, in the months of the summer. Right. So 
we prefer to have a nice amount of people there. I still go to the classes when they are in. I mean, I never stopped. Right. Because I love it. I, I, I do. I mean, we meet, you know, we're there every Monday and we paint for about an hour or two. And then the next week we finish them and we, we, we seal them and you know, we show what we do. It's, it's very nice. And yeah. you're, you're interacting with other artists and you get ideas and, um, and you help others. That's what we do. We help each other. How to do this? How would you do that? How do you mix this color? So we try to help each other out. So this lady who started this activity, mm -hmm. yeah. seeing that you are where you are now and you've yeah. grown at a, you know. Yes. <laughs> uh, what, is the kind of, what is the relationship like now seeing that you started with the rock painting, but now you are this person? Does she come to see your Yeah, she does. Okay. She lives here. Um, the lady that is, took over, because right. it was a lady that came from out of um, out of this development to give us the classes. And then this other lady, I call her, I tell her, it's all your fault. When my husband says, right. you're taking too much time, this and that, or whatever, <laughs> yeah. because there's no food on the table, yeah. <laughs> or whatever else we need to do, or we're going out and I'm still painting, I'm not getting ready. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I said, it's all Marie's fault, because right. that's the name of the lady. So... Once I, I have something, I'm going to do a plate, Marie's fault, and put yes. it up there. That's it. <laughs> so Marie, how, I mean, what, so she see your work now, and she's like, what kind of a, you know, how is she relating to She just smiles. Are? She comes here. We do, we come here every other week, every three oh, okay. weeks. Okay, okay, so and she does we, come to your studio. Yeah, she comes to the studio with my other girlfriend, and the three of us are doing something. Right. Uh, whatever I'm... You know, like that horse I was painting when they were here, that, yes. that, that big painting. Mm -hmm. And she does mandala dotting. She does beautiful work. Okay. And my other girlfriend just comes and paints and she just enjoys being us together, the three of us. Okay, so we beautiful. do that and we help each other. And um, So the relationship is a solid Oh, it's, one. it's beautiful. It's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. I got good friends here and I'm very happy. Beautiful. It's a great neighborhood. I love it. So should someone want to get in touch with you to say hey you know i would like to have you do this piece for me and mm -hmm. you know how can they reach out they can call me directly okay beautiful uh, but do you have a social media platform oh, they can that go they can ahead. visit facebook facebook and facebook is kirmas art so the k-i-r-m-a apostrophe s okay art right carmen de santiago Okay, beautiful. And of course, that is going to come up for you guys to make sure yeah. you have it on the screen. Yeah. So they go to your Facebook page and they can message you. They can message me and, and, the, and the, my phone number is there too, so they can oh, call me. Oh, it's on Facebook, yes. phone number? Yes, okay. Okay. yes it is. Well, I can get, I have no problems. Oh, you, you, you. you. Yes, I can. Okay, so let's, let's, let's hit you that number now. 352-219. Nine seven five nine. Okay, one small three five two two one nine nine seven five nine. You hear that? So <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. I mean, you are really doing a great job, Carmen. Thank I, you, I mean, Sean. I, 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 I think. This, what you're doing is for me is very, very nice, very sweet, Thank and I you. really Thank appreciate you. you take your time to be here. Thank you. And what I love about you, Carmen, is your spirit. You, I mean, if you, once you meet Carmen, trust me, you will fall in love with her immediately. Her smile, her spirit, she's genuine. Okay, and I think that is why a lot of people just love her. So... I want to say thank you for giving us the opportunity to come into your world and explore this wonderful mind of yours. Your thank you. <laughs> and you thank said you, you have a slogan, it, it's dream, right? Yeah, your dream, dream, make them come true. Make them come true. Make and them you come are true. actually doing that. I am, I am, and I'm extremely blessed. That's, I can't, I, I can't put it in words. That's my problem. I can't, I can't find the right words to say how I feel about this. Yeah. I just know it makes me very happy. And happy wife, happy yes. life. <laughs> happy food on the table. <laughs> when it gets there. He knows. <laughs> Guys, you've been checking out the Ocala Arts and Entertainment Podcast. The lovely Carmen D. Santiago. And of course, her art name, Kirma. Kirma. 
care. We want to thank you. Thank you again, sweetheart. Thank Just you, sweetheart. Wonderful. Thank yes. you very much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Bye for now. Take care. Be safe.